Reading Juniors are in the heart of the Tenderloin. Um, they're in a concrete jungle here and they um, manage to find toys and things to play with regardless of this environment. So giving them a ball and giving them a safe haven to express what they're seeing around them every day has just been in, in such a diverse, diverse team atmosphere. At home, I don't have a garden, I don't have any place to play, just inside, like Barbie, so I can, uh, now I'm in soccer, so I'm glad I can play with balls. And... America Scores is working within the school systems in the lowest income communities throughout the Bay Area and they're giving kids a sense of ownership of their own world and ways to make a change. They're creating relationships with others that, are, that will serve them for the rest of their lives. The children have so much love and so many ways of expressing that, whether it's different languages or through actions or in speech, they just very much appreciate and acknowledge that you're there to help. That makes them very precious to my heart. Left one! Left one! Left one! Go clap! Junior soccer team uh, is one of my favorite programs. It's like a big festival. It's a celebration out here every Saturday. The joy that the kids have at playing the, playing the games and sitting down and reading the books. It's just, it's really impressive. It's excited, I mean, it's not every day you see children playing with grass. With your junior sports team this year, put your hands in the air and give me a big, oh yeah! Oh yeah! So because... um, a lot of people were skeptical when we started it. Oh, they can't write poems, they're not gonna be into it. And they absolutely love it. We have first graders who have entire books full of poems. They wanna perform, they wanna share. And it's really just magical for them at that age to, to discover that the way that their words can connect them to their team, even when they're five, six, seven years old. They might be in situations in their homes where it's difficult to play after school soccer or be in more formal leagues. So being able to come out on Saturdays with their, with their families it's a major advantage for them so they can actually get to play these team sports. The kids' favorite part of the after school program is they have a golden magic microphone at the end of every class and they love to get up in front of the class and, and celebrate their work, share who they are and, and share their poetry. I love my sister and brother. I love my grandma. I love my family. The tunnel represents what this program is all about, which is a community of families, parents, coaches, teachers, coming to support and love the work that the kids are doing and who the kids are when they come out here. And no matter what happened during the game, every single kid runs out of that tunnel with a smile on their face and excited to head over to the book zone to get a new book each week. It's just incredible to see the power of a team and how that transforms lives and just keeps them engaged and safe in environments that aren't always that way. I think this program started here in San Francisco and I think that every square city should have it. I don't understand why uh, the tunnel isn't something that happens everywhere. The book zone isn't something that happens everywhere. Um, yeah, I think this program's great for, for any school.